In a place called the Miracle Mile, deep in the heart of Los Angeles, there lies a fossil gold mine. Just off one of downtown's busiest streets, scientists are constantly unearthing America's prehistoric wildlife. The La Brea tar pits are a collection of toxic-looking lakes and pools. Here, tar, or asphalt, seeps to the surface, creating one of the best places in the world to find the bones of saber-tooth and other prehistoric predators. 14,000 years ago, though the climate was cooler, the vegetation and terrain of Southern California were very similar to today. The tar pits were hidden in the landscape, making them one of the most deadly animal traps ever known. In the summer, molten asphalt oozing up from thousands of feet below ground would form intensely sticky pools. These were covered by leaves and other debris. Any hapless creature wandering into the area would become stuck fast as if to a giant piece of flypaper. If the victim was a prey animal, Predators like Sabretooth were attracted to what looked like an easy meal. Soon, they too become mired in the tar. Ultimately, both hunter and hunted would die, sinking into the asphalt to be preserved forever. Since excavations began at La Brea about a hundred years ago, over a million bones have been recovered including thousands belonging to Smilodon, representing one of the world's biggest collections of saber-tooth bones. Asphalt is not only a deadly trap, it is also an excellent preservative. The bones it disgorges are in much the same condition as if the animals had died just a few years ago. This is part of the hip bone of a saber-tooth cat. And if we go down here, you can see the knee joint. And in this corner over here, there's a beautiful skull of a saber-toothed cat there. And if you look closely, you can see the eye socket of another saber-tooth sticking out of the wall right here. Using its sharp claws and ferocious jaws, this bear was an efficient killing machine. But this massive animal was no match for an unusual geological feature in Southern California a pool of sticky, viscous tar that was one of the most deadly animal traps ever known. Forming a series of small ponds that were hidden by leaves and foliage. Just two inches of tar was strong enough to totally immobilize any creature. The more the bear tried to pull itself free, the further it sank into the mire. If it was lucky, it would, would die of exposure and starvation and thirst in a few days. Uh, more likely, though, uh, it would be torn apart by dire wolves or saber-toothed cats or lions, and it must have been a, a really awful death. The tar pits have provided a spectacular snapshot of life 14,000 years ago. This prehistoric graveyard of extinct Ice Age animals has resulted in one of the richest fossil sites in the world. Since 1913, scientists have been unearthing the remains of thousands of animals who died there. The George Page Museum has amassed a collection of over three and a half million specimens. One of the largest collections on Earth. Here we are at the primary storage area at the George C. Page Museum, where we have thousands of saber-toothed cat and dire wolf bones. But I only have three racks of short-faced bear bones. Only 30 individuals have been recovered from the short-faced bear species. This number pales in comparison to over 2,000 saber-toothed cats and more than 3,500 dire wolves, 
All that's left of this once mighty hunter is a pile of ancient bones. Bubbling up in the heart of Hollywood, the La Brea Tar Pits are a kind of prehistoric mass grave, the biggest collection of Ice Age animal bones in the world. The remains of thousands of dire wolves have been found in the preserving tar, part of a staggering hoard of more than a million bones from more than 200 prehistoric species. The pools of naturally occurring tar make the area unique. Over the ages, the black syrupy material acted as a perfect preserving agent and a deadly animal trap. In prehistoric times, molten asphalt or tar deep inside the earth oozed its way to the top. As it broke through, a harmless black crust formed as the tar cooled. But when exposed to the summer heat, the crust melted again, and the tar pits became an inescapable gluey trap for any unfortunate animal that wandered in. The remains of more than 500 stranded horses and bison have been found in these pits. But surprisingly, these herbivores are outnumbered by meat-eating predators. Thousands of them have been found in the pits. Usually herbivores outnumber predators by around 10 to 1 in any given location. But in the tar pits, it's the exact opposite. The predators vastly outnumber the plant eaters. Why? Experts believe opportunistic predators like dire wolves were drawn into the tar pits by stranded prey, only to find themselves trapped in even greater numbers. This scenario repeated itself over the ages until all that remained was layer upon layer of preserved blackened bones. To an expert eye, a jumble of bones can be read like evidence from an ancient crime scene. Clues preserved in the tar can reveal how individual animals lived and died. Five meters below the present day surface lies 40,000 year old bones from various animals, including the dire wolf. The quality of preservation is excellent and the diversity that we have found within this site is second to none. Right here, exposed at the bottom of this one grid site here, we have a vertebra of a short-faced bear. And right here, we have a dire wolf humerus, which is the upper arm bone, with nice juicy asphalt coming off of it. The dire wolf was discovered after bones from the tar pits were cleaned and pieced together. It proved to be the largest canid or species of dog that ever lived.